Lesotho's new Prime Minister is expected to give impetus to South Africa's biggest interest in the mountain kingdom, water. Our contributing editor, Vuyo Mvoko, explains further. It's Lesotho's white gold, the country's biggest export to South Africa. Each year, thanks to a remarkable engineering feat, billions of cubic meters of water flows from the mountain kingdom and through dams and tunnels is blasted through these mountains. It's a highly critical project for the security of water supplies, especially for the hub of the economy of South Africa, which is Gauteng province. In addition to providing South Africans with this much needed resource, Lesotho also generates from it much needed hydroelectric power. Sadly though, some Basotho get neither the water nor the electricity that their country generates. Here, the wells are dry, and many of the folk are simply too poor to afford to even keep an electric light on. We don't have taps. We don't have roads. There are no jobs. No food water, and we are hungry. Part of the problem, unaccountable politicians and corrupt public servants. But if Tuesday's pronouncements are anything to go by, the Lesotho Highlands Water Project now looks set to gather some steam. Prime Ministers past and present seem aware of the project's importance. My discussion with President Zuma of South Africa around the Highlands Water Treaty, that M C C D Kukupa, when I learned that Zuma le katele tava ina kabu khabane le puisa. As your incoming government, we commit ourselves, with the help of God and your cooperation, to confront these challenges with vigor and determination. Vuyomvoko, SABC News, Maseru Lesotho.